this is Norm from Quantum Innovations and today I want to talk to you about how do you get water spots uh, in an ultrasonic? So now there's two different ways to look at this. There is conductivity and there's resistivity and I'll cover that in a different video. But your ultrasonic in the, the latter phase of the ultrasonic there is deionized water. Uh, and like I said you can look at that conductivity or resistivity. I'm going to talk in terms of resistivity to you today. So uh, resistivity should be very high when we talk about getting a part out of that ultrasonic spot free. And what we want is we want that water to sheet off the lens. So we want the surface tension to be very high on the, on the water so that when it comes out, when the lens comes out of the ultrasonic, that part is completely uh, dry and spot free. Now the line with which that happens is about 12 mega ohms. So now that can be different depending on where you are in the country, but generally speaking, if you, drip, if you dip below 12 mega ohms in resistivity in your water quality of your DI water, you're gonna start to see water spots. So where you wanna put your threshold is, we, wanna, we want to start out at 18 mega ohms, that's when your water's cold. So as you heat up that water, you'll see the resistivity change, and that's normal, that's okay. But in normal operations where we wanna set our parameters is, 18 on the high side, 14 on the low side. When you hit 14, you should put in your order for your DI water bottle so that you get it back, you get your new DI water bottle in, your mixed bed, uh, before you hit that 12 mega ohm threshold where you start to see water spots. And water spots will always be represented by, by, uh, by perfectly circular uh, spots on the lens. And if you don't know what those look like, ask one of our process team and they'll help you point that out for you. But, uh, but that's where DI water spots come from and, uh, and that's how you take care of it. Just make sure your, your resistivity of your water stays in that operating range. Thank you.